What's up, people? This is Ardcore with Ardcore Gaming, and today I'm going to talk about how to get those specialized camos for your combat knives within Black Ops 2, so you can start stabbing people in style. I'm going to talk about how to get them in order, and the map I have chosen for today is Nuketown 2025. Now, the dev grew here, the very first one you're going to get, requires you to get 10 knife kills. Fairly easy, correct? Now the Atex AU, this one requires you to get 20 knife kills. Again, fairly easy. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and call it the Ertle. This one requires you to get 40 knife kills, still within that fairly easy range. The Siberia, this one requires you to get 60 knife kills. It's kind of a cool black, purple, white mix. Now the Chaco, the Chaco Latte camo. <laughs> this one requires you to get 80 knife kills. Looks cool, tan and brown. The blue tiger, I refer to this one as the icicle. This one requires you to get 100 knife kills. Now the bloodshot camo. This one with the red and black tip is just really cool looking. This one requires you to get 120 knife kills. The ghost tex delta 6. This one requires you to get 160 knife kills. It's well worth it though, I mean it's a pretty cool looking knife. Now the Cryptic Typhon. This one requires you to get 200 knife kills. And again, well worth it, really cool looking knife. The Carbon Fiber Camo. This one requires you to stab 10 players in their back. I'm almost positive you can get this one and that very first camo at the same time. The Cherry Blossom Camo. This one requires you to get 5 Survivor Medals. So, just stay alive. Now, the Art of War camo. This one requires you to get five revenge medals. So, just kill those people that killed you, but make sure you do it with your knife. Now, the Ronin camo. This one requires you to kill an enemy with your knife, steal their weapon, find them later on in the match, and kill them with their own weapon. You need to do this five times. Now, the Skulls camo. This one requires you to get five bloodthirsty me medals. So, just uh, go to town on them. Now the very last camo being the gold one. This one, basically all you need to do is get every other camo that I mentioned in this video and you'll be good to go. The collector's edition digital camo. This one is basically the one that you got if you pre-ordered the game or you got the collector's edition. And so it's a pretty cool looking camo, so uh, it's, it's pretty much a given one as soon as you get the game, but uh, it's still well worth it. Now the very last one that I did not mention in this video is the diamond camo. This one you have to get gold for your crossbow, your assault shield, and your ballistic knife, and your combat knife. So got a lot of work ahead of you, but it's so worth it, they're so amazing. Now anyway, I believe that's everything I have for you today. If you liked everything in the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you click that like button down below. I would greatly appreciate it, and uh, look forward to uh, talking to you all in the future. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about, please hit me up. Thank you.